take a look. This is one of the largest and most powerful war-related paintings ever created. It is called Gassed, and today it is on exhibit at the National World War I Museum and Memorial. We have Doran Cart, who is here, his senior curator of this exhibit, and uh, you're joining me now here in the studio, and you've Thank brought you. some gas masks to talk about this yes. painting. Um, so let's start with the gas mask. Let's start with what you brought us. Well, so what we'd like to uh, do in the exhibition mm -hmm. is to show how they reacted to the poison gas attacks, okay. how they detected them and how they protected themselves. So this is, this is the model 1917 German gas mask. Mm -hmm. And it's made of, this is, uh, this is sheep's skin, mm -hmm. which has been rubber, has rubber coating on it. And then it has the, the uh, kind of, at that time, what was a plastic material as the eyepieces. And then the filter is what they breathe through. They would put this on their face and they would actually, their mouth would go out the top of the filter here. And then would there be some kind of oxygen tank or something? No, oh. no they actually just breathe oh. through here. Okay. And it was layers of charcoal, mm -hmm. lime, and tissue. Oh. A type of tissue, which is where our modern day tissue comes from, our, uh, that we, Kleenex comes from those oh. tissues that were developed during this time. Interesting. So they would actually breathe through all those layers mm -hmm. and that would dissipate the gas as they breathe through it. So no, they didn't have oxygen, but they would put this on and it was, so it would seal very closely around the face. Yes. And so when you look at uh, pictures of World War I soldiers, yes. if they have beards, they're behind the line. They're not where there's poison gas because you had to be clean shaven so your mask would fit very tightly against the face. That's interesting to see this up close because you do see them in all the movies. And this is the actual alarm then. Yeah, this is the American um, alarm that, that they would use to warn that there was an incoming gas attack. And so um, I'm going to give you a little sample of what Get it ready sounds for a like. Loud noise. And so when you heard that sound, then you, you grabbed to get your, your mask. gas mask on. Okay. Well, now let's talk about this painting because yes. we've been talking about it so long. We had all the pictures of, oh, yes. you know, the giant crate coming in, and now it's actually hung and on display in this new, yes. new building that, or the new, new space, area. Again. Yeah. And yeah, new exhibit space. So tell us about the painting and what we can expect. Well, the painting itself is on loan to us from the Imperial War Museums in London, mm -hmm. and it was painted by John Singer Sargent after he visited the battlefields in August of 1918. Mm -hmm. And he was commissioned to paint a, a memorial painting for their new Hall of Memories they were going to have for the war. And so he wanted to do a grand scale, and he really did. How big is it? It's, uh, the painting itself is over 20 feet long and nine mm. feet high, mm. and the characters in it are almost all life size. Mm -hmm. And so he, he has a perspective where a line of blinded soldiers are in front that have been blinded by mustard gas. Oh. And they're going being led into a dressing station so they can get their wounds uh, treated. And then it's interesting because in the background, there was a rest camp for the British soldiers to get away from the line. Mm -hmm. And they're actually playing a game of soccer mm -hmm. in the background. And here are all these horribly uh, wounded soldiers in front and here juxtaposition life goes on. Oh my gosh, the message there is there's, there's so many levels of, of message there. That's, that's correct. And he was, uh, even though he wasn't a war artist per se, he was a portraitist, mm -hmm. painted very famous people over his career. Mm -hmm. uh, he really took this to heart and mm -hmm. he painted it with great detail. He made drawings while he was there and was really affected. It's gonna be a very impressive and powerful painting. You definitely wanna see it, and you've got lots of time because Gast is gonna be on display at the World War I Museum and Memorial through June the 3rd. Dawn, thank correct. you so much for coming thank and you. giving us this uh, exhibit with the gas mask and the alarm. It's so many wonderful things happening at the World War I Museum. Thanks again. Thanks for having me on.